Hello, I just made a crazy realization, and I love it, but I also hate it, because I don't know what it means about me. Okay, so, you look around my room, and I'll, I'll show you, this is going to be, this is going to be awkward, but I'll show you. So you look around my room, you see on my wall, there's like a bunch of objects, there's there's a bunch of just weird stuff like collected. You you there's no theme with my room, like some people have a theme. Like, oh they have a mermaid themed room and like it's all kind of a thing. I just have shit like on the walls. And I have I have I have tons of posters and art and weird stuff that no one will un ever understand. I have lights, I have my desks are cluttered all the time. Shelves, like, tra it looks like people taped trash to the walls. That's, that's a pink plastic spoon taped to the wall. Like, that's not... I just... On my bed, I have stuffed animals and all types of pillows. I have bandanas pinned to the ceiling. I have photos and things hanging on everything. There's not a single, a single depersonalized thing in here. And that's, that's weird. Because that's, that's kind of unusual for most people. I feel like most people don't keep all the shit that people give them. They're like, oh, here's a little gift. This, like, take this, do you, like, you want it, like, everybody does that, oh, you want this weird little thing, sure, I'll take it, like, that happens, what do you do with that, do you put it in your pocket, and then when you get home, you put it in a drawer, you're like, haha, is that what you do with it, you don't, you don't display it as a trophy, <laughs> you don't display it as, like, a memory, you don't tape it to your wall, you don't put it on a shelf, you put it in a drawer, you put it in your pocket, or like, you throw it away? You definitely don't throw it away, but you, you don't, <laughs> you don't flaunt it with pride? <laughs> Why do I do that? There's gotta be a reason for that. Why do I have to see my memories? Why can't I just keep them. I just can't, I can't think, how could you not? How could you not <laughs> display everything? Like, if somebody walks into my bedroom, I want to show them every little knickknack and tell them every story. Why? The grapes, the grapes hanging from my ceiling fan. I do want people to walk in the room and say, what the fuck? And I'm going to be like, oh yeah, there was this time <laughs> my best friend and I were in a Wegmans and there were a whole bunch of display grapes and blocks of cheese by the wine section and we started shoving false grapes in our pockets and we ran out of the Wegmans. You don't want to know that? Yes. I'm not going to I'm not going to run with those grapes dangling out my pockets from security guards for the grapes to just go in a drawer in a box in the closet. No. <laughs> those grapes are getting hung by my ceiling fan strings forever. Those grapes are going to move with me in college. And those grapes are going to be on my dorm. They're going to be, those grapes are never leaving. When I get married and have a house, our, this is, the bedroom is going to look like this. Am I a hoarder? Fuck. Fuck, I'm a hoarder. No. 
<laughs> no. No, not me, please. <laughs> please not me, no. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> How do I solve this problem? No. God damn it. Oh no. What do I do about this? I'm clean though. I think now that I realize it, I can do it safely. Yeah, yeah, actually, now that I've realized it, I'm doing it very safely. And I can continue to do it safely. Like, my room is orderly and clean. It's not gross, and nothing's trash. Nothing goes untouched forever. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Ugh. The problem is, I'm not only a hoarder, I'm also a jack of all trades, and I have tons of personality. And so that makes it harder for me. <laughs> uh, oh no, try to know. I think that I, I've realized that I can do it safely. Because no one... No one has Jeffer Tom Jefferson Lab light glasses from the field trip five years ago that make the, um, like, actually, nobody has two of those from two separate field trips. Nobody has those because who, who would? But who wouldn't? <laughs> who wouldn't? I don't, I don't know where, I don't... Ow. <laughs> Nobody has this shit. <laughs> Nobody keeps this... <laughs> no! No! Nobody... I even hoard clothes. I hoard everything. I hoard my schoolwork. Why do I have so much yarn? Why do I have hundreds of monster energy can tab things? And buttons from Walmart. I am a very dangerous individual. <laughs> no! Somebody is awake. That's awkward. I don't want them to find me. I'm having a fun time by myself realizing that I'm a hoarder. I hoard now. I think it's so fucking cool and I keep it forever. Normally people finally realize at a point in their life and like, ah, I made this little artwork.
aggressive. Like, but there's also some things I just don't know what to do with. Like, this is, I just shit in the woods hand sanitizer. When nature calls and you're actually out in nature, life's not always pretty, especially if you have on hand, you have on hand air or dry leaves. I, it's just, what the, what do I do with this? How does it come into my possession? <laughs> Like I said, I get tons of gifts. I give gifts. I exchange. I find. I keep. I I make. I I acquire so 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 much, and I don't know what to do with it because I can't. I can't get. It's not in my morals to get rid of it. It's proof I'm alive. <laughs> What a predicament. Mm. I'll be fine. <laughs>